Really, what made you want to choose uh, communications? Uh, what, what made me choose uh, the communications department was um, actually the film, the uh, the video classes, uh, 250 and 251. With uh, it was uh, Mr. Morris at the time, um, and I had some interest in video work and editing and the rest of it before, and um, I lost interest for a time, and then I came back to it. And I found that I really had a love and a passion for it, for making films and editing. So. That's why I chose the communications department. My Thea, she actually made me. My Thea is my aunt. She did like the radio. She used to work on the radio, and I thought that was like super cool. And she always got tickets to like Disneyland, or she'd get tickets to concerts. And I was like, I want to do that. Tell me about the cross section since you're digital media arts. Talk about the cross between communication and the arts, and how it's uh, helped you grow as a person. Uh, the joint between the departments is an extreme help. Um, because in the art department, I'll get to learn about, you know, form, color, line, composition, um, how things should be formulated, how to think flexibly. And then I also get to learn about cameras and things of that nature. Then coming over to the comm department, I also get to learn about cameras and software and things of that nature. And then to top it off with just, you know, how to write and how to really improve upon the foundation from the art department and then really marry the two ideas together. What? Uh, tell me about some of the connections you've made since being in the department. Just, just, just the professors themselves are already good connections and um, I, made, I made a better connection with uh, Dr. Marsh and um, everything that he does but between the animation process and people who he knows in the, in the um, video production field. You know. I, Again, I'm not too good at making connections or networking, so that's something that I've always wanted to work on, and I'm, I, I, I plan to improve on every day. Professor Silka, she knows like a lot of people. She also knows like a lot of people in New York, which is like where a lot of like you know. I feel like there's like a lot of commun communication things like in New York, so I, I added her on LinkedIn. So you know, <laughs> we're like official. If you had to combine your entire experience here into one word, what would you make that word? Necessary. I don't know. It's kind of a it's kind of a, a toss up between unique and rewarding. What uh, what made it necessary? Coming here improved upon my skills tremendously. Like I didn't think I was very confused at first. I was thinking, am I really gonna earn my bachelor's degree? I wasn't sure. No, I don't have that <laughs> anymore. I know I'm earning my degree. What do you mean by unique? Unique in the way that that um, how small our department is. I mean, we only have a hallway <laughs> uh, off to the side of a, of a building. But you know, because of how small it is, you get to know everybody on every level. You know, you don't you don't just know the seniors. You don't just know the juniors. You know, you know the freshmen and the sophomores, the people who are coming in. You know, just about every day to you know just to see what the department's about, and that creates a unique atmosphere of of you know people. You know, and you know what people want to go into, and it, and you um, and then it turns into that rewarding experience of. Hey, you're doing this. I know how to do do this. Let's help each other. You know, make make something. You know, that way both of us can, you know, show it off and hopefully become successful. So tell me, uh, go back to high school senior you, mm -hmm. and now look at college senior you. What uh, what difference has the communications department really made in transforming you into who you are today? Um, I definitely think um, I'm a lot more out there. The, the difference between my past self and my current self is night and day. My past self is very shy, not confident, but here I am more confident. I know what I can do. I know that I am competent and I know I can provide quality content to whatever future employer chooses to hire me without an issue and I know that I can continue to grow because that's my biggest a sense of confidence is knowing that I can make mistakes and I will make mistakes, but I will also learn from them. The department gave me a sense of purpose, a sense of what do I want to do with in my life, you know, career-wise, you know, and, um, you know, uh, all my, you know, lifestyle choices, you know. You know, I want to create and I want the tools to help, to help create and definitely the communications department has helped me in those tools, you know, and not just in video production and things like that, but from all the other classes from, you know, the advertising courses and everything else that's offered. You know, it round it rounds it 
it helped round me out into I'm not just a one trick pony. Okay, so final question. You're a senior. Mm -hmm. We talked about it before. Four and a half weeks, that's including finals week, and you're gone. Oh, yes. But there are tons of freshmen, sophomores, even incoming students who uh -huh. have multiple years still left in the department. What would you tell them? How, how did you get through, and how would you advise them to get through this? I would say take it day by day and join a sport. <laughs> <laughs> I think sport has, like, joining a sport, soccer, like, I think it's, like, made the school year go, like, a lot faster than, like, what it normally would be. Uh, just because you're constantly busy with either homework or practice or a game or sleeping. So, I mean, I definitely would say, I think I'd say get involved is what I'd say. Like, if you don't get involved with something, then I think that it's just going to be like a long four years. But I definitely think that if you get involved, like, it'll go, it'll go by fast, you'll enjoy it, and you'll learn a lot. So getting involved really helped, like, round you out as a person, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Thanks, Jasmine. You're welcome. <laughs> do your absolute best in every class you have because I know it's very hard to do so because you kind of just want to be over with the class sometimes. But you need to walk into every class having the mindset that you're going to learn a new skill and that you want to keep that skill. And then by the end of that class, you can see your own change and it's very rewarding. My advice to freshmen, sophomores coming into the uh, communications department is to find that passion, to find that spark, you know, and it may be in a, in a place that you never expected, you know, I mean, you may be doing video production whenever you learn, whenever you learn that, uh, you know, you're really good at advertising, whenever you learn that you're really good at making graphics and that uh, can really kick, you know, you learn that that can kickstart you in a, in a career. Or, you know, you may be doing advertisement and then you learn that you like doing podcasts, you know, or making podcasts and you want to be behind a mic every single day recording something. You know, it's find that passion and stick with it. You know, you may have to take a lot of classes that, you know, you, you think, oh, this doesn't help me with what I want to do, but it rounds you out. So take those classes, you know, take those classes and enjoy it and learn from it. Learn from every single thing you do and improve on yourself with everything that you do.